Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Common Rider Saber. You guys, I'm so excited to see what is gonna happen next. Last up was crazy, I can't wait to get into it. If you're joining me early today, you already know what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So we got a couple of really interesting things last time. Um, obviously, you know, the highlight was Rintro's new form, which is so beautiful. I skimmed over the episode a few minutes ago trying to, like, memorize the name. It is not sticking. I am so sorry. I will try harder <laughs> and I'll know it when I see it but um but I absolutely love it and I love how even at this stage they're able to kind of constantly fake me out about Rentro because I just like every time something happens with him I'm like oh god no this is it um and it always just ends up being more character growth for him and I think this one was really I think this one hit really hard in terms of his character development because he actually saw his master um and I feel like maybe got like a sense of closure um, in that regard. Um, you know, it kind of feels like things are finally coming full circle for him. Um, so that was that's it's always good to see, you know, like Rintero coming out the other end of something better, stronger, happier. Um, as with all the characters, um, we've seen that a lot with Toma, but now that Rintero is back up in the mix, we were, we were due for some good, like, Rintero development, so, um, the other thing is, I love how Toma was able to figure out the, you know, quote-unquote teleportation, um, because I had been saying for a while, like, <sighs> something about it, like it said something about time. I'm like, it's really just more of a manipulation of time or speed. Um, and it turns out that's exactly what it was. It was, um, basically almost kind of like a going really fast, like faster than the eye could see, but Toma was able to see it. I'm guessing because of, because Toma, you know, um, I mean, why is he able to do most of the things he can do, such as, you know, starting to split people from the ghettos? Um, clearly, Toma is just very special. Um, so I really like that. I don't know where things are going with the new book that was found at the end. Um, but I, I do feel that um, we're starting to get a little bit of tension with Reka. I don't know if I'm misreading it, but I kind of feel like, especially now that her brother's up in the mix, we can see um, her brother is much more loyal even than she is. Like, he, his is almost like a, I feel like her loyalty, and they actually, I think I am interpreting right, it right, because they actually did address this in the episode where she finds out that, you know, um, Logos is kind of working with the Megiddos. And, like, her loyalty is founded in like the concept that they're doing something good, you know, like from where she stands, they're doing the right thing. Um, and clearly, you know, getting the ghettos mixed up in that is kind of crossing the line for her. Um, whereas the brother is just like, look, if our master logos wants to get the involved, we're just going to go with it. Like we don't, we, we're not here to ask questions. He knows what he's doing. Um, so you could kind of see the contrast, like, up to this point, it seems like reika has been, like, the really loyal henchman, you know, um, but you can see the contrast in their motivations, which I think is really interesting. So, um, I am just excited to see where things are going to go from here. We still, we still have a lot to try and figure out, um, a lot going on, you know, it's been a while since we talked about Luna, we know that's up in the mix, um, uh, Kento and his whole stuff is starting to happen that he didn't predict or didn't see thing. Um, Victor slash Tassel we know is kind of hopefully okay. Um, so there's a lot to get into. What do you say we go ahead and get started on the next episode of Common Rider Saber? Let's go. All right, you guys. Episode was nuts. That episode was insane. We got so much in that episode. So Luna's out there. She 
showed up. She straight up showed up and Toma was like this close to her before whatever vortex that I'm assuming connects worlds. Cause it looked like she was in like a different world for just a second. Um, that world opened up and started to become our world. And Logos didn't do it, apparently. He's like, oh, I just saw something interesting, huh? So, like, I don't think he did it. It just, like, happened. But why and how? But Luna's out there. When they first said, like, he sacrificed Luna, I'm like, wait a second. Did he straight up kill Luna? But no, she's out there. We just don't know how to get her back. And they don't know how to get her back, which I have to say is actually a good thing right now. But Sophia was made based on Luna to connect the worlds. There must be something I'm missing or there's something they haven't told us yet. Because if that's true, I feel like Sophia would be a very sought after person and they would want to be using her to connect the world. Maybe for some reason she can't. But it looks like the book they just stole has produced another Sophia. So I'm wondering if like they're going to use, like if it's going to be like a bad Sophia, wouldn't that be crazy? Um... Wow, guys, ton of info. All right, on the character front, we had some great moments here between Kento and Toma. I'm so sad that Kento doesn't want to join up. Um, but it's pretty clear now that it's not so much that Kento has become a hardened, totally hardened person and lost the Kento that we all knew and loved. It's that he has seen Toma suffering and wants to prevent that. And apparently, in the future he saw, it's when he helps Toma or joins up with him that that happens. That's kind of how it sounded. Um, so he spe specifically does not want to join up with Toma for that reason. Even though he has his own enamel pin. And even though I really truly believe he wants to be with Toma and Luna again. Um, that being said, we got through to Rintero. I think there's hope for Kento. Ren, I'm scared for because I was really hoping they would get through to him and he's going to join up with Desas. I will say Desas did him a solid by taking that blow for him, but I don't think that his reasoning is as good or pure as, like, say, Rintero's for showing up. I don't think he's doing it because he truly cares about Ren. I think he's just like, hmm... This seems like it would be some interesting mayhem for me to get into. And I see where Ren's coming from that like, oh, I'm going to learn all your strategies from you. Um, and then you'll be the first person I defeat when I get stronger. But I don't know if he's going to be the same Ren when he's through being trained in the ways of Desaust. I don't think that's a good thing at all. And Ren is just so... No pun intended, but I feel like he can be, like, swayed like the wind, you know? Um, I feel like he's very impressionable and young, and this is a very, very bad situation. Um, what else? What else did we learn in this one? I feel like there was something else, and I'm like, oh my god, wait, really? I think that was it. Oh, wow. What an episode, guys. They really dropped a lot on us. Um... So Luna's out there. We need to get to Luna. We need to prevent the future that Kento saw. We need to get Ren away from Tesas. We need to protect Sophia. And I said, I already said it about Luna. Get to Luna before they do. Um, and do something about the new Sophia they just made. I have no idea if it's going to be like our Sophia or if it's going to be <laughs> they're going to like somehow program her to be like bad Sophia. I don't know why I'm just getting that impression. Um, all right, guys, that was insane. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. We have so much to get into and look forward to. Oh yeah. And Victor still like healing his body apparently. So we have that as well. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.